Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Liverpool condemn Manchester United to join heaviest defeat in their history. Liverpool were in seventh heaven. Manchester United were in hell. Utter, all-consuming hell for the Red Devils. There are some defeats that are so traumatic they eat into the fabric of a team, of a club, of an institution. Not just the margin or the manner but the opponent who inflicts it. It can shake them to their core and United must be careful. They felt they hit their nadir last season, suffering a 9-0 aggregate loss to Liverpool in the Premier League, but that scoreline was almost repeated in one extraordinary game. They are undoubtedly on the right lines under Eric Ten Hag but a loss like this could derail their season. It was that brutal. It was that embarrassing. It was, potentially, that damaging. The test is how they now respond and how, of course, Liverpool kick on. Where has this team been all season? It cannot just be because of injuries. Whatever happens this will live long in the memory, this famous win will understandably be used by Liverpool to goad United for decades to come. T-shirts will be printed and, in the modern day, memes and gifs made. Whatever United achieve for the remainder of this campaign, how can they live this down? They have lost 7-0 before. But not for almost a century. And never to Liverpool. At the end Jurgen Klopp declined the invitation from a jubilant cop to deliver the fist pumps as he walked around the pitch. It looked as though he had his game head on. There is nothing, yet, to celebrate all the Liverpool are up to fifth and if they win their game in hand will go above Tottenham Hotspur and into the top four, and Champions League qualification, which not so long ago looked improbable. This was Liverpool at their best, their very best. This is what Klopp demands as they harnessed the power and the passion and the raw emotion inside Anfield with some breathtaking football. If only that second leg against Real Madrid, 5-2 down, in the Champions League, was also back here. Before the win over Wolves Klopp had called it a defining week and the definition is clear, right off Liverpool at your peril while United are certainly not title contenders. In one afternoon, that argument has been made a mockery. United have to now just make sure they are also in the top four. They cannot hope for more. They are not good enough to pretend otherwise. This was as sobering as it gets. There is another definition that a shell-shocked Ten Hag will ruefully reflect on, always try and give a manager the player he wants. And yet another for Liverpool fans, do not dismiss a new signing too early. Ten Hag pushed for Cody Gakpo in the January transfer window but compromised because United's finances were stretched by last summer's signings, not least the acquisition of 86 million British pounds winger Anthony, who was frankly woeful here. So in swoop Liverpool with a deal PSV Eindhoven could not refuse and so, inevitably, Gakpo responded with two goals in his best performance so far, by some margin, for the Anfield club while Ten Hag had to settle for Wout Weghorst on loan. He lasted less than an hour before being substituted. But that was just a subplot. As brilliantly thrilling as Liverpool's attacking play was in the second half it still did not explain how United folded with captain Bruno Fernandes losing his head. Yes, everything that could go wrong did go wrong for them but, still, a line in the sand should have been drawn. Instead they stumbled like a punch-drunk boxer. Mohamed Salah's two goals took him to 129-1 ahead of Robbie Fowler's Premier League record for Liverpool, and what an opponent to do that against. Salah was a relentless force of nature at times, aided by Gakpo and also Darwin Nunez. Two goals for each of them to end, suddenly, a new and exciting front three has emerged for Liverpool to be augmented by Diogo Jota and Luis Diaz. The final goal came from another forward, substitute Roberto Firmino who was once so important but has now been edged out of that equation. It makes a mockery of Liverpool's struggles. What will alarm Ten Hag is not just the defeat, and the horrific margin of it, but also that utter capitulation after a first half in which, arguably, United were the better side. They looked resolute and composed and missed two good chances before the collapse which started as Gakpo claimed his first, running onto Andrew Robertson's incisive pass to beat David E.G. With the halftime whistle it was a test for United. How would they respond? No one expected it to be with a crass, hapless performance as their defense crumbled in the face of an onslaught that became ever more frantic and relentless. It was awesome at times but that is no excuse for United. Not for the last time, United failed to clear, Nunez headed home, but it was Gakpo's second goal that summed up the gulf. He set Liverpool off on the counter-attack, 
slipping the ball to Salar who twisted and turned and landed Lissandro Martinez on his backside before picking out Gakpo who had continued his run and deftly lifted the ball beyond EG. There was more, Salah struck with an instinctive finish, after the ball ricocheted to him off substitute Scott McTominay, and he was left unmarked, DG was beaten when Nunez rose to glance home at Jordan Henderson cross. Klopp responded with a quadruple substitution and Liverpool responded with two more goals, Salah side-footed home from a few yards out and from Inno from even closer in. We want eight, chanted the home fans. It could have been. It could have been even more. The shame was complete. Eric Ten Hag speaks to Sky Sports the players were unprofessional. On trying to explain the shock scoreline. I don't have an explanation, I have to find out, in first half we were in control, then one mistake, then, at the start of the, second half we gave two goals away where we were really poor in defense transition. From then, we were not a team anymore, they didn't stick to the plan, there were 11 individuals, it was really bad. They were unprofessional. You have to stick together as team with each other and fight together and we didn't do that, you can have setbacks but you have to stick together and do your jobs. There was no matching of runs or tracking back in that unprofessional. On a message for the Man UTD fans. I am really disappointed and angry for our fans, we let them down. On whether you can compare this result to the Brentford one at the start of the season. You can't compare it, totally different situations. We have made a lot of progress, but, you can see that if you, you don't keep your standards what can happen. On where the side goes from here. It's an unacceptable the performance. But it's one game, a big defeat to Liverpool, our rivals. We will bounce back this team is strong enough, we'll reset and bounce back. Not for the last time, United failed to clear, Nunez headed home, but it was Gakpo's second goal that summed up the gulf. He set Liverpool off on the counter-attack, slipping the ball to Salah who twisted and turned and landed Lissandro Martinez on his backside before picking out Gakpo who had continued his run and deftly lifted the ball beyond EG. There was more, Salah struck with an instinctive finish, after the ball ricocheted to him off substitute Scott McTominay, and he was left unmarked, DG was beaten when Nunez rose to glance home at Jordan Henderson cross. Claude responded with a quadruple substitution and Liverpool responded with two more goals, Salah side-footed home from a few yards out and from Inno from even closer in. We want eight, chanted the home fans. It could have been. It could have been even more. The shame was complete. Eric Ten Hag speaks to Sky Sports the players were unprofessional. On trying to explain the shock scoreline. I don't have an explanation, I have to find out, in first half we were in control, then one mistake. Then, at the start of the, second half we gave two goals away where we were really poor in defense transition. From then, we were not a team anymore, they didn't stick to the plan, they were 11 individuals, it was really bad. They were unprofessional. You have to stick together as team with each other and fight together and we didn't do that, you can have setbacks but you have to stick together and do your jobs. There was no matching of runs or tracking back in that unprofessional. On a message for the Man UTD fans. I am really disappointed and angry for our fans, we let them down. On whether you can compare this result to the Brentford one at the start of the season. You can't compare it, totally different situations. We have made a lot of progress, but, you can see that if you, you don't keep your standards what can happen. On where the side goes from here. It's an unacceptable the performance. But it's one game, a big defeat to Liverpool, our rivals. We will bounce back this team is strong enough, we'll reset and bounce back. Gary Neville on Manchester United's performance they were swallowed alive. On the side's naivety. They've built up trust over past few months. I thought the performance in first half was good, but then they've not understood the dangers of this fixture. When you can see the goal, at Anfield, and the crowd get up and it can swallow you alive and that's what happened in the second half, they were swallowed alive. Taking a swipe at Bruno Fernandes. They weren't professional enough, I'll start with the captain, Bruno Fernandes. I am fed up of the sight of him throwing his arms around, whinging at everyone, he has to put in a captain's performance, that wasn't a captain's performance. I think Ten Hag will deal with that performance in the next few days. One last word. They've earned enough respect the past few weeks to say that's a blip. Jurgen Klopp speaks to Sky Sports a proper show of what we can be. On the result. No words. Spectacular football game. Outstanding. We played top football against the team in form. The second half the start was pretty good and the end was pretty good. 
That is football, it can happen. We take all the positives from tonight, bar the scoreline, which was a freak. On the performance. It was the push we wanted. It puts us in the right direction. Everyone has to know we are still around. It wasn't the case for a while but tonight was a proper show of what we can be and what we have to be from now on. On Mohamed Salah's new goal scoring record. 129 goals, that is insane. What an unbelievable number. He is a special player. We appreciate him now but in the future people will look back and be wow, we witnessed something really special. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe channel, comment and sharing our videos.